<laughs> hey guys, Beck and James here from Eco My Home. Hope you're doing great. Today we have a couple of really awesome plastic related life hacks that we are going to be showing you today. So, always uh, the best idea to minimise any plastic coming into your home in the first place. But what we're going to talk to you about is uh, just if you, if you happen to have some plastic items lying around, how you can maybe repurpose them. Uh, you know, into something useful to extend their lifespan. Okay, so first up we've got these plastic Ziploc bags. Everybody has them, everybody uses them. We all know that they are crappy, but that's okay. People have them. So basically, we're going to be showing you how you can reuse these and make sure they are nice and clean for you to put your sandwiches in. Ideally, plastic bags are not great for your sandwiches. If you can get your hands on some bean wax wraps, they're really, really great and they environment as well, they last a lifetime, or if you get yourself a, a little lunchbox uh, from your local supermarket. Um, any reusable container any is, reusable better container is better than a plastic bag. So get your hands on one of those, um, or learn how to reuse these. And how do we reuse? So basically what you want to do is after you've eaten said contents uh, at your work or business place, uh, you will want to whack it in a sink full of water and a little bit of dishwashing detergent, a dash of white vinegar, which helps to get rid of the odours and any potential stains that you might have on there. Just let it sit in there for about five minutes, give it a bit of a swish around and then take it out. Once you give it a rinse, pop it on top of your grater, you know the box graters, make sure you get all the air in there so it becomes completely dry and you're set to go for the next round. Easy as. Easy as. So next up. We have the dreaded plastic bag. There's already about a gazillion of these in landfill across the planet, uh, which is a great travesty that I don't really need to explain to you right now. Uh, but basically we thought we'd come up with, um, with a few alternative options for you guys, or just ones that we recommend. You've probably seen a bunch of these before, the, the reusable green bags, or they come in lots of different colours now. Uh, but a common misconception about these guys is that they're actually made um, from synthetic polymers and, and, and plastics as well. That and they tend to get used almost in the same disposable fashion uh, that these used to these days, that they're literally just that abundant that, um, that you see them everywhere. So a very large percent of them will still end up in landfills, which is not okay. So what we recommend instead, uh, by all means, if you've got a bunch of these, hold on to them, uh, use them as often uh, as you possibly can, and just take good care of them because they do tend to last a while um, if, if you do kind of really use them with care. Cloth bag is the best option currently available today, the, uh, the epitome of reusable bags. Generally made from hessian or some other kind of material. Uh, occasionally they will be lined with plastic and, and, and other things like that, but it's okay, something like this is always going to last you a hell of a lot longer uh, than one of these, and definitely a lot longer than one of these. So please, every time you go to the supermarket, take your bags with you and help set the plan. And lastly, we're going to show you how you can reuse your fruit and veg netting bags that you get from your local fruit and grocery store. Now, we know they can be pretty hard to avoid on most occasions, as we know the grocers usually sell their bulk one kilo bags of you know, fruit and veg in them, but uh, you can use them to make a really great long life scrubber to clean your dishes with. So what you want to do is we've got three bags here, we've chosen three different colours just to change it up a little bit, uh, but you want to grab two and put them together and put one inside the other just to make sure that they are combined inside like so and kind of if you can just put the end bits back in inside itself just so you know, nothing's going to be falling out so once we've got that you want to place the two inside the third netting bag and just push it down to the bottom just so it's all nice and up. So you sort of close that up, push it down, so you've got a nice little tight bundle there and you can see that you can, you've got that surface to be able to use on your dishes. And you tie a little knot in the end, like so, pop it through. And then you've got a cool little dishwashing scrubber that you can use and a little bit of a section. 
and then to hang it up so that it dries out. Saves you the cost of buying one brand new and keeps these three pieces of plastic out of landfill just that little bit longer. So that's it from us guys. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the little plastic minimization video. Um, if you'd like to find out more, check us out online at ecomyhome.com.au. Uh, head to the blog for lots of other educational articles and, and how-to guides. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace. <laughs> Such commanding peace. <laughs> peace. I really like, I'm excited to use this scrubber.